Addicted to your cell phone. Today, Apple announced it wants to help. 7 News' Diane Lee is joining us in the studio to explain a new feature and how it works. Diane. Yeah, well, Tom, Apple announced it's built into the latest version of its software, iOS 12. And with that, you'll be able to monitor how much time you spend on your device, specific apps, and even set time usage limits for you and your kids. Walking, eating, hanging with your spouse. It seems no matter what we're doing, we can't keep our cell phones in our pockets. My day's ruined if it's not charged in the morning. Just put the phone away for five minutes. You won't die, I promise. It's a battle every day to try and stay focused on the outside world, not just what's on your phone. Bubba Philpot admits cell phones can be so addictive, his friends have had to set some rules. We, we, we were all sitting at dinner, and we were like, we're on our phones too much. So what we started was we just said, everybody put your phones in the middle of the table. And whoever looks at it first pays for everyone's meal. And now Apple is looking to help users curb their addiction. The latest iOS 12 software includes new features that help you monitor the time you spend on the phone and certain apps like Facebook. Now, this move by Apple comes one month after Google announced the same push for digital well being. You'll see that in the next version of Android P in the fall. Family therapist uh. Roger Rhodes says he's seen marriages destroyed uh. by cell phone addiction and grades slump for school kids. How do you know if you're addicted to your phone? Okay. What you, ha what you have to look at, if I have the phone and I have anger towards people and I'm trying to push them away or push them back as a defensive mood, you're not going to take my, uh, my cell phone. You're not going to control me. And it's too high for the, whatever's going on, that's a red flag. Phil Pont says setting rules has strengthened his friendships and he's only lost that game once when his mom called. I told her what happened and uh, my dad transferred me the funds to my account and he didn't make me pay for it, so I, I was happy with that <laughs> one. That's a clever one, though, there. You're at lunch, you know, the first one to look at their phone has to oh, pay. That's yeah. a tough bet. Yeah, but the parents are probably really going to love, Tom, sure. this feature that allows them to set limits on how much screen time their kids have. Yeah. Well, because of the business that we're in, I admit I now carry my cell phone with me when I'm doing yard work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Am I addicted? <laughs> well, you know, I think that's a question that a lot of us really need to yeah. ask ourselves, and I think it comes down to this. If you have loved ones who are saying mm -hmm. to you, um, can you put down your phone? I'm talking yeah. to you. And they say that a lot. And your reaction as the therapist that I spoke with today was saying is, you know, anger. Yeah. You know, no, no, I'm not, you know. Sure. I think that's when you might have to step back and look at the logic there and say, maybe I need to um, put it down more. Well, I, I don't think I'm at that point yet because my <laughs> wife did contact me several times that I was doing uh, things in the yard. And so I stopped and did, did, did. Oh, you're good. I, I know you're that. good, Tom. <laughs> you're great. Yes. But uh, right. it's, it's food for thought for well, sure. It most certainly is. Thank you, Doc. You bet.